Cornwall, located on England's southwestern edge, is where stories come to life. The sea meets the sky in breathtaking colors, and every turn unveils a hidden gem. Cornwall is known for its stunning coasts, magical moorlands, and picturesque villages, and has something for everyone. Whether you're an explorer, a history buff, or simply seeking a peaceful vacation, here are the 10 best places to visit in Cornwall, each with its unique story. First up is St. Ives, a village that is more than just a tourist destination. It is a canvas on which the Atlantic Ocean acts as a muse. St. Ives, once a small fishing community, has grown into an artistic paradise, luring creatives with its distinctive light and breathtaking scenery. The town is filled with delightful boutiques, cozy cafes and art galleries. This Tretho Lounge for breakfast, it's famous for its extensive vegan menu, a great way to kickstart our exploration. The Tate, St. Ives, one of the town's most well-known galleries, is more than simply art. Its design was influenced by the shapes of the town's boats and the surrounding Porthmeal Beach. But it's not just about art. If you're looking for some adventure, take a surfing class at Porthmeal Beach or visit the enigmatic Barbara Hepworth Museum and Sculpture Garden. It's clear why this beach hamlet has inspired generations of artists. The next stop is Land's End, the westernmost point of mainland England tourist and holiday complex in Western Cornwall, England, where standing on its jagged cliffs can feel like you're on the edge of the world. The steep cliffs offer stunning views of the Atlantic, and on a clear day, you can see the Isles of Scilly. According to local tradition, Land's End was formerly linked to the vanished kingdom of Lioness, which is claimed to have submerged beneath the waves. Some people think that on peaceful nights, you can hear the bells of Lioness's churches ringing from the depths of the sea. Don't miss the Land's End landmark attraction, which will teach you more about the area's history and folklore. If you're lucky, you might catch a play at the adjacent Minak Theatre an open-air amphitheatre cut into the cliffs with the ocean as a natural background to the stage. The Eden Project is third on our list, sometimes referred to as the world's eighth wonder, and it's clear why. This vast eco-park, created in a former clay pit, contains the world's largest indoor rainforest. The famous biomes are home to hundreds of plant species from all over the world, from the lush rainforest of Southeast Asia to the sun-soaked vineyards of the Mediterranean. The rainforest biome is so huge that it can comfortably accommodate the Tower of London. But the Eden Project isn't just a botanical garden. It's a living laboratory focused on sustainability and conservation. Whether you're strolling through the tropical gardens or learning about sustainable energy at one of the numerous interactive exhibits, the Eden Project provides a day of exploration and knowledge. Must visit. To book your ticket, visit website www.edenproject.com. Next, we venture to Tintagel, a place where legend and history intertwine. Nestled on the rugged North Cornwall coast, Tintagel Castle is steeped in the lore of King Arthur and his magical realm. Tintagel, a quaint village with fewer than 2,000 residents, offers charming streets lined with shops and eateries. Notable is the 14th century old post office, now managed by the National Trust, which features intriguing rooms and a delightful garden. The castle ruins, mostly located on Tintagel Island, are famously linked to the Arthurian legends. The extensive remnants you see today date back to the 13th century, commissioned by Richard to connect with Arthurian lore. The recent addition of a striking footbridge, shaped like a sword, enhances access to the island, which was previously reached only by a steep, exhausting climb. This modern bridge symbolizes Excalibur, linking past and present. Below the castle, you can explore Merlin's Cave, accessible only at low tide. This small, picturesque beach offers a unique view of the surrounding coastal beauty. Tintagel is more than just a historical site. It's a vibrant tapestry of legend, nature, and history. Each stone here narrates its own story, making it a captivating destination for those who love to dream and explore. The Lost Gardens of Halligan are the next stop on our Cornish tour, providing a glimpse into a vanished world. These overgrown and forgotten gardens were rediscovered in the 1990s and meticulously restored to their former grandeur. 
The gardens feature Europe's only outdoor jungle, replete with banana plantations, bamboo tunnels, and a subtropical valley. As you walk around the 200 acres of gardens, you'll notice a combination of Victorian formality and untamed exotic settings. The jungle, with its towering ferns and gigantic rhubarb plants, is a must-see, and the pleasure grounds provide a more classic garden experience. There is even a working farm where you may meet some of the creatures that live on Halligan. Next, the Lizard Peninsula, Cornwall's wild and untamed heart. The Lizard Peninsula is a nature lover's paradise, known for its breathtaking scenery and unusual vegetation. The shoreline here is rough and dramatic, with turquoise waters crashing into the black, serpenting rocks that give the area its name. The Lizard Point is mainland Britain's southernmost point, and it also has the country's oldest continuously working lighthouse. Take a walk along the southwest coast path, where each twist and turn exposes a new spectacular view. Don't miss Kynance Cove, one of the UK's most stunning beach. The Lizard is also home to picturesque fishing communities like Canchwith, where you can eat fresh seafood right off the boat. Next, we have Falmouth, a town with a rich maritime history and one of the world's deepest natural harbors. Falmouth is a gateway to the Fall River and offers a variety of water-based sports, including sailing, kayaking, paddleboarding, and fishing. Falmouth was the starting point for Sir Francis Drake's historic circuit of the world in 1577. History buffs may enjoy exploring the National Maritime Museum Cornwall, which digs into the town's naval history. Pendennis Castle has panoramic views of the shoreline and is ideal for a picnic. Don't miss a trip around Gilling Dunes subtropical gardens, which have a beautiful bandstand, a Victorian shell grotto, and a breathtaking view of the sea. The next destination on the list is New Quay, the UK's surfing hub. If you want to catch some waves, here is the place to be. New Quay's world-renowned beaches, including as Fistral and Watergate Bay, attract surfers from all over the world. New Quay hosts the annual Boardmasters Festival, which combines live music and surfing competitions, making it a must-see for beachgoers and music enthusiasts both. But there is more to New Quay than just surfing. The Blue Reef Aquarium provides an underwater adventure for the entire family. And the New Quay Zoo is home to over 1,000 animals. For a taste of history, head to the Traris House, a stunning Elizabethan estate just outside of town. If you're searching for a picturesque walk, choose the Southwest Coast Path, which provides breathtaking views of the rough coastline. Next, we travel to the Isles of Scilly, a series of islands off the Cornish coast that feel like a completely separate universe. With beautiful white sandy beaches, crystal clear waters, and moderate temperature, the Isles of Scilly are frequently compared to the Caribbean. The Isles of Scilly are the UK's smallest area of outstanding natural beauty, measuring only 16 square kilometers. The biggest island, St. Mary's, is an excellent base for exploring the Archipelago. Take a boat journey to the neighboring islands, each with their own distinct charm. Tresco is home to the renowned Abbey Garden, which features plants from all around the world. St. Martin's has some of the best snorkeling in the UK, and Briar is ideal for a relaxing getaway. The Isles of Scilly are a nature lover's heaven, with their untouched landscapes and plentiful animals. Last but not least, we visit Port Isaac, a lovely fishing community that has captivated both visitors and television audiences. Port Isaac, with its small, meandering lanes and whitewashed homes, appears to be frozen in time. Port Isaac is the filming location for the popular TV series Doc Martin, which stars Martin Clunes as the gruff town doctor. Take a trip down to the harbor and watch the fishing boats come and go, or explore the adjacent coastal paths for breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean. Port Isaac also has several wonderful seafood restaurants where you may sample the day's catch while enjoying the fresh sea wind. For a taste of history, go to the 15th century. St. Peter's Church, which overlooks the hamlet and provides a calm setting for thought. 
And that wraps up our tour of best places to visit in Cornwall, from the stunning beaches to hidden legends. Cornwall truly has it all. Which destination is calling your name? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this journey, hit subscribe and join us for more adventures. Don't forget to like the video and share it with your fellow travelers. Until next time, keep exploring and chasing those travel dreams.